whenever I talk or write about vulnerabilities, I tend to be a bit frustrated. The hackers always don't play by the rules. They can use any means necessary to get their job done. You have to admire their perseverance. The problem is that their success is our failure. What if there would be a shortcut for the good guys as well? I bet there are multiple, but Nuclei is the one that I will talk about today. Nuclei is an application that closes the gap between the vulnerabilities catalogs and actual pen testing. Do you want a more formal description? According to the project's readme file, it is a tool used to send requests across targets based on a template, promising zero false positives when scanning a large number of hosts. And because sharing is caring, there is a dedicated templates repository where the work of 300 security researchers is shared. Yes, the number is a pure coincidence and it has nothing to do with the 300 Spartans decimated at Thermopylae while fighting the invaders. Enough with the history. Back to Nuclei. Besides the unique identifiers like ID and info tag, a template has a collection of requests to be sent and a bunch of matchers to determine if the responses follow an expected pattern. It supports scanners for a variety of protocols, including TCP, DNS, HTTP, DSL, File, WHOIS, WebSocket, Headless, and many more. Yes, I practice this traveling salesman bitch. As it is a fast CLI tool, it can be written in anything else but in Go. Obviously, an indication of the success of the tool is the repository's popularity. More than half a million downloads, more than 100 contributors, almost 13,000 stars and almost 2,000 forks on GitHub. As you might expect, it can be easily integrated with other CLI tools by piping it. For instance, you can use it with Subfinder to target newly discovered subdomains or HTTPX if you want to filter and process the URLs beforehand. All in all, a nice tool you should use, whether you use it from the command line or you integrate it in your CI pipeline. For the whole episode, transcripts and resources, visit 505updates.com. This was Olympio Pop, reporting from Transylvania, Romania. Search for and subscribe to It's 505, wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.